Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're making some delicious keto style butter braised ribs that you're gonna love for sure. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. So to get started with this recipe, you're gonna need a rack of St. Louis style cut uh, ribs. That's what we got here. Uh, or if you can't find those, uh, baby backs will do just fine as well. And so the first thing that we're gonna do to prepare these ribs is remove this membrane on the back. And so with a like a butter style knife, uh, just go ahead and, and sort of wedge it underneath that uh, membrane. You can get your finger underneath it. We'll get all the way to the other side. There we go. Then we're just going to rip through to both sides. To that side there. There we go. And this one's already uh, trimmed up fairly well, so I'm just going to leave it. You could uh, cut off the end a little bit here, but it's not that crucial for this recipe. Okay, so with the membrane removed, uh, let's go ahead and, and apply a little bit of oil. Uh, this is a lemon infused oil, and this is gonna just complement uh, this style of recipe that we're gonna be doing here. And so just put a little coat on both sides. You don't need much. And we're hoping for a little bit of those citrus notes to pop through in these ribs. This oil is also gonna act as a little bit of a binder uh, for our rub to stick to when we put it onto the meat. And so for our rub, uh, we have mixed in here uh, two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of, of kosher salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And so with that all mixed up, go ahead and place uh, your rub onto both sides of the meat. And when you're putting your rub on, uh, make sure to do both sides as well as the edges. We want this all good and coated. And you'll notice that there isn't any sugar in this rub because uh, we want that natural sweetness that's in the pork uh, to come out a little bit. And because I originally made this recipe for a friend uh, who does keto, I want to keep it as true as possible to that original. So with these ribs all seasoned up and ready to go, let's go ahead and get the Weber kettle set up for cooking around 250 degrees. To set up our grill today, I placed in about 15 briquettes into the Sloan sear and got them fully lit with the barbecue dragon just to speed things up a little bit. I then filled up the remainder of the Sloan sear with unlit briquettes. I also added some boiling water into the water reservoir as well as added some hardwood. And today I'm going to be using some apple and maple wood chunks uh, just to add a little bit of that sweetness that we're looking for in these ribs. So with our kettle sitting just under 250 degrees, let's go ahead and place our ribs onto the indirect side of the grill. With our ribs on the grill, let's close the lid and we'll start cooking around 250 degrees. Our ribs have now been on the kettle for about three hours now, so let's open up the grill and take a look. You can see that there's some great color on these ribs. There's a little bit of bone pullback starting to happen, so let's pull them off and get them into our butter braise. So in our foil pouch, I'm gonna stick about a quarter cup of butter into the bottom. Next, I'm gonna take uh, two cloves of garlic and place that down on top of that butter. Then I'm gonna take our ribs and place the meat side down, right on top of that butter. Then I'm gonna take the remainder of that stick of butter and place it onto the top of our ribs. Then with everything in our foil pouch, just gonna wrap it up. Nice and tight. Then with them wrapped up, I'm gonna take them and place them back onto the grill, meat side down. And we're gonna continue cooking these for about an hour and a half to two hours before we check them again for tenderness. So I've let these ribs cook in the foil pouch for just over an hour and a half. And so let's open up the grill and just see how tender they become. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. That garlic and that butter coming together. Oh, I can't wait to taste these. So what I'm looking for here is that the bones have a nice pullback on them. Uh, and then when I 
just wiggle the bones you can you can see that they're they're almost wanting to pull out and this is exactly what we're looking for in tenderness and so i'm going to pull them out of the foil pouch and put them back onto the grill and get them brushed up with a little bit of that uh, butter braise sauce that we've been using to braise these ribs for the past couple hours And with our ribs brushed with that butter, I'm gonna close the lid. And we're gonna continue cooking these for another 15 to 20 minutes just to allow these ribs to firm back up just a little bit before we cut in for the taste test. So our ribs are all done. They took just under five hours to do, and guys, they smell absolutely rich with flavor. And so let's cut into it and just see how they are. Oh, these are tender. When you're cutting through ribs and they just feel like butter, you know they're gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more things just before we take the taste test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, some fresh squeezed lime and I'm gonna squeeze that all over just to help cut that fat this is going to give it a really nice uh, light flavor you're going to take a little bit of salt and sprinkle that on top as well there we go let's take a look at this here wow look at that smoke ring i'm going to go for the taste test and see how it is mm. oh wow Mm -hmm. Guys, these ribs are absolutely delicious. They're rich, they're buttery, they're juicy. They're packed with that nice smoky flavor, but they also have a freshness from that lime we squeezed on it. If you've never tried ribs like this before, guys, I'm telling you, you're in for a treat. Let's do this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's how you make those delicious butter braised ribs on the kettle grill. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.